So we have a viewer from Alexandria who wants to know what's the status of the hands-free vehicle uh, legislation, in other words, uh, cell phones and the like. Let's start with you, uh, Representative. Well, not on the Public Safety Committee uh, this time around. Um, I think it's probably going to pass. Um, there are, what, the truckers have to abide by those type of yep. rules. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, we already have some data and information on how to implement it and maybe avoid, uh, you know, any side issues. Well, my family's been um, hit three times, three separate times, because someone else is texting while driving. So it is very dangerous. I drive back and forth on the interstate to Duluth. I see a lot of people texting on their phones. So any way we can deter that behavior, we need it. Yeah, it's on. It just passed out of finance committee in the Senate and is now on to the Senate floor. So I'm hoping that this year Senator Gazelka will actually bring it up and have and have a vote on it. Mm -hmm. um, and I am a author on the. Uh, bill that increases the penalties. Uh, Senator Osmick is chief author on that. Um, so I'm hoping that both of those get a, a vote on the Senate floor this year and we pass We pass it. It has to. It is long overdue um, and it's just very common sense and Minnesotans are definitely behind it and we should pass that. Senator Gardner? It, you know, it, it's all about changing behaviors. Uh, my employer, you know, when I'm out uh, on the job and I'm driving, I have to as part of my employment, if I get a call on, on a cell phone and I'm driving, I have to pull over. And mm -hmm. it, it just makes sense. It's common sense. Mm -hmm. uh, and I do that because I remember when I first got a cell phone back in the early 90s, and I was in outside sales, and I'd be going down the road, and the next thing you know, I was like, I didn't realize I went two or three miles down the road because I was so busy with the conversation. Uh, so you know, we're, we're trying to change behaviors. And... Uh, uh, you know, the other thing we have to look at, too, is these newer cars. They've got this big TV yeah. screen on the dash, and people are trying to do the touch, touch screen, and then they get focused on trying to change channels or get the air conditioning changed or the heat changed. Uh, so there's a lot of distractions in our newer vehicles that we didn't have uh, years ago. Something and to be said for a 1960 Rambler yeah. with no radio, which was my <laughs> first vehicle. So uh, <laughs> there was nothing in that car to distract me from anything. Yeah, my F2, my F-150 2000, uh, year 2000, it's great. It's just got the radio with the six six presets and that's all I do. <laughs> You're so up and running. I'm going. So.